I'm a physical media man, and uh, I collect movies, video games, CDs, records, anything like that. And uh, Disc Replay in Indianapolis had a 50% off all DVD sale. So I went uh, last Saturday and Sunday both. Um, so this is my haul from Saturday. I spent $68.46, so I'm going to show you guys what I got, why I got it, anything like that. Okay, so we're going to start off with um, Christmas Vacation 2 with Randy Quaid. Um, I have all the vacation movies, so I just decided to get it. It was... So they also have a deal where it's uh, buy five, get one free. So this was one of the free ones I got. It was 333 originally. Um, next up, we got Treasure Island, the original. Um, I like to get all the Disney movies I can, so I had to pick this up. Um, let's see how much it was here. It was 250 so that was a good deal. I'm also a wrestling fan, and uh, I had to get this Goldberg release. This just came out. I think last year, um, and that was also one of the free ones I got, and it was originally $5.99, so that was a good pickup. Um, I got Walking, Making the Grade, sorry, um, with Judd Nelson. I just got it just because Judd Nelson was in it. Um, let's see what I got. That was $1.67. Uh, this one I was really excited about, Mel Gibson in the Man Without a Face. Um, it's really hard to find. Um, and it was $9.99, so I got it for five bucks. Uh, I've never seen it for sale anywhere. Um, next up, I got Iron Will. Uh, it's another Disney movie. Um, so I was happy about that. It's also hard to find, and it was only $2.50, so that's a good deal. Um, I used to watch this movie all the time when I was a kid, Fly Away Home. Um, it was $2.50, another good deal. Um, this came out last year and it got good reviews, so I kind of wanted to check it out. Um, Free Fire, um, and it was $1.67. Uh, I have a Steve McQueen collection, so I had to get this, Junior Bonner. Um, don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it was $2.50, so that's a good deal. Um, another WWE release, this is the Attitude Air Volume 2. Um, and it was three dollars. Uh, this also came out last year, the DDP release. Um, let's see. I think I only paid. Yeah, I paid five dollars for it, so I was happy about that. I'm excited to watch this one. Um, I'm a Bret Hart fan too, so I got this Bret Hart release. Um, it was only two dollars. And some of this, they messed up on the pricing, so I got an even better deal. Um, here's a Batista release. Let's see here. It was only $2. Um, this one was hard to buy, but I have a Kevin Spacey collection, so I picked up Nine Lives. Um, it was one of the free ones I got, too, so I wasn't too bad. I used to watch this show all the time when I was younger, Lois and Clark. Um, so I was excited to pick up the first season of that. And... It was only three dollars, so I thought that was a really good, good deal. Next time I need to put them in order of where they are on this receipt here. Um, I am a big music fan, so I wanted to grow my uh, music DVD collection a little bit. So I picked up this Led Zeppelin release. Um, that was only three fifty. Um, I'm trying to buy all the best pictures, um, so I got this uh, Mutiny on the Bounty uh, with Clark Gable. It was $1.67, so that's a good deal. Um, this was from a couple years ago. Hadn't seen it yet. Joy with Jennifer Lawrence, heard it was good. Um, I only paid $1.67 for that. Uh, I have a Martin Scorsese film or collection, and this is also for the music collection, uh, The Last Waltz. Let's see. Only paid $2.50 for that. Uh, I wanted to see this last year. I'm a big sports movie fan, too. Um, I'm an All-American. Um, that one was only $1.67. I'm not huge into horror movies, but I like collecting them, too. Um, I got Hellraiser, the first one, so I picked this one up, Hellraiser 3. It was also one of the free ones I got, so that was a good deal. 
Uh, I have a Clint Eastwood collection, but I bought this one to sell. It's pretty hard to find. Uh, Coogan's Bluff. It took me a while to get it, but I have it in my own collection, so I bought this to sell. Um, and it was only $1.67, so hopefully I make some money back on that. Um, I watch uh, Cinema Sickness. Um, Chris Duckman, the Flick Pick, uh, the Mortal John Hancock, Metal Jesus, all those guys, uh, Wet Movie One, Cool Duder. Um, Cinema Sickness is trying to collect the uh, North American Superbit collection, and I kind of decided to start doing that too, so I picked up Heavy Metal. Um, comes with a nice slip, uh, disc is in good collection condition, so happy about that. It was $9.99, so I got that for five. Thought that was pretty good. It's also hard to find too. Never seen it, so excited to check that out. Um, here's another one I missed uh, recently. Her. Um, it was $3.33, so got it for $1.67. Uh, I watched New Girl, so picked up Hello, My Name Is Doris. It has Schmidt from uh, New Girl on it. So let's see here. Got that one for $1.67. I uh, really like Dave Chappelle. Picked up this nice inside the actor studio with Dave Chappelle. Um, it was two twenty two. dollars so let's see. Got that for $1.11. Uh, heard this was good. Decided to check it out. The Flamingo Kid with Matt Dillon. Um, <clears throat> got that one for $1.67. Uh, I've seen the remake of this, and I own it. Own a steelbook copy of The Gambler with Mark Wahlberg. Wahlberg so I decided to pick up the James Can version. Um, it was four ninety nine. So let's see how much they charged me. They gave me it to, for a dollar sixty seven. So there's another one they messed up on, but cool. Um, another one for my Disney collection. My favorite Martian, Christopher Lloyd and Jeff Daniels. Um, so that's cool. It was $6.99 originally. So I got that for $3.50. Um, my wife wanted to get all the Santa Claus movies, and we had the second one, so I picked up this is the original. Um, it was $4.99, so I got that one for $1.67 too. So there's another one they messed up on. Um, and then last but not least, Corey Feldman, Corey Ham. It was $4.99. Um, Dream a little dream. Don't know anything about it, but with those two, decided to pick it up. Um, it was $4.99, and let's see, yeah, they charged me $2.50, so all in all, really good haul, I think, uh, $68.46 total, including tax, so here's a stack, and then here's the rest. Um, I'm going to do a separate video for Sunday. I spent around the same, but this is my first video, so I had some mess-ups in there, so we'll try to make this second one better. But, yeah, I just love collecting and decided to um, start making videos. So this is Physical Media Man signing off. Physical Media will never die.